everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a series review for you and it is for The Mortal Instruments Part 1 by Cassandra Clare. Uh, the first half of this series is one that I have read before um, and I've just finished a reread. I haven't read the second half of the series so, um, and the, the series is in two distinct parts. So this one is what I'm reviewing now and I'll probably review the Infernal Devices and the second half of this series when I finish them. So, first book in this series is The City of Bones. We have City of Ashes and we also have City of Glass. Uh, let, let, me, let me explain the world for you. So, um, in this Shadow Hunter world we have demons. Everyone knows what demons are. Um, they are from different realms, dimensions kind of thing and they travel into our realm and mess shit up. We also have downworlders who are human, who, well, they're not exactly demons, but um, they have demon blood or demon viruses in them, and they are born in our world, so they live in it. Um, you have four different types of downworlders. You have warlocks, who are the children of Lilith and a demon. You have um, fair folk who are the children of angels and demons, you have vampires and you have werewolves. So you've got four different types of down models and then you also have these shadow hunters who are sort of like superhumans, they're human beings but they're descended from angels so they've got all these like super fighting powers, they can use angelic runes, they can see down water, no not down models. They can see demons and they fight them and they protect normal humans from the shadow world as it is described. The first half of this series uh, sort of centers around Clary. Clary is a normal teenager living in New York and then one day she goes to a club called Pandemonium and she sees these shadow hunters killing a demon. She freaks out about it and then by a whole range of other events she, um, her mum ends up getting kidnapped and she has to stay with these shadow hunters because her apartment's been destroyed and the only other person who could really look after her, sort of like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't want anything to do with it. And then she is set sort of on a quest to find the Mortal Cup. So each book sort of centers on a different one of the Mortal Instruments. There is three, there is the Mortal Cup, which creates Shadow Hunters and controls demons. You have the Soul Sword, which I don't really know what it does. And then you have the Mortal Glass, which no one has really seen or heard of since, you know, Shadow Hunters were created. For some reason I remembered the writing style in first person. It's definitely in third person, I don't know why I remember it in first person, but I don't really remember a lot of the story. I remembered most of the plot points from City of Bones and City of Glass, but I remembered literally one scene from City of Ashes. The writing is very descriptive. I don't do well with descriptive writing because I really have to like concentrate. It makes it harder for me to really connect with a book and also long, takes longer for me to read it. Um, but you know what? It didn't matter because I did enjoy the stories. Um, City Boys I gave three and a half, City of Ashes I gave four, and City of Glass I gave four and a half. Um, same sort of things are bothering me in each book. So um, the narration sort of like jumps between characters. Um, the only clear thing about it is just like a blank line. Um, it's a lot more consistent in City of Ashes and City of Glass. So in City of Bones it's sort of just like haphazard most of its clary. Whereas in City of Ashes and City of Glass you have sort of more... It's more consistent in that it skips between characters all the time. It, so from here on there may be spoilers. You have been warned but I'm pretty sure like nearly everyone's read the Mortal Instruments anyway. The first thing that I want to talk about with this series is the fact that the blurbs do not even tell you what the story is about. So the blurb for City of Bones reads, Clary Frey is seeing things, vampires in Brooklyn and werewolves in Manhattan. Oh, okay, some plot. No. Irresistibly drawn towards a group of sexy demon hunters, Clary encounters the dark side of New York City and the dangers of forbidden love. Literally all three of these blurbs mention forbidden love and hardly anything about the story. Literally nothing. This does not tell you anything anything about what happens in the book. It does not tell you about Clary's mother getting kidnapped, it does not tell you about her finding out that she's a shadow hunter, it does not tell you anything about the Mortal Cup 
or having to fight demons or anything like literally nothing it tells you there is sexy shadow hunters it's frankly annoying it does not make me want to read these books the reason I read these books was because my mum told me to another thing that's really bothering me about these books is the insta love by the end of City of Bones they've known each other a week and Clary was unconscious for like three of those days like why are they even letting her go and fight? Like, they shouldn't be doing that. She's known she's a shadow hunter for three days. That's, you know what, whatever. City of Ashes is the same, and so is City of Glass. At the end of City of Glass, these characters have known each other for three weeks, and there's already, like, three relationships. Two of the relationships, they're completely in love with each other. Like, these are 16-year-old kids. Do they realise they've only known each other for three weeks? This was a hectic three weeks. I'll give them that. But, but, Insta Love, I'm not a fan of it. I just, it's a little bit ridiculous. As for the plot, it's a little bit convoluted. And while it takes a while to get started in City of Bones, City of Ashes and City of Glass have very clearly defined plots. It moves a lot faster. I did read them a lot faster than I read City of Bones. Um... So yeah, I don't know much. I don't know what else I can really say. Like this was a reread. I have read them before. Nothing really shocked me. Um, I knew pretty much everything that was going to happen. Um, when it, when I was reading it, I got reminded of sort of big reveals and plot points. So nothing really surprised me um, this time round. Although I do remember getting very upset at a certain scene in City of Glass, and you know what I'm talking about, all right? You, you know. Like, I don't know what much else I can say. I was really annoyed by the fact that the blurbs do not tell you anything about the plot. But the writing, while very descriptive, is fantastic, and it really... There's a lot of world building. It's a very intricate world. Um, the, the characters were a little bit unbelievable. The insta-love was shitty. Um, and they're not bad, okay? They're not, like, fantastic, put them on a pedestal, kind of great, but they're not bad, um, if you can stick with it. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what the second half of the series has in store. Get away. Hey, how did you even get in? There's a hole in that window. That's all for today, I guess. Um, let me know what you thought of these books because there's some, yeah, mixed reviews. Um, I've seen quite, I've actually seen quite a lot of um, people not like them. And it's not that I don't like them. I like them, I just, I don't love them. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of these books. Um, you can also check me out on Goodreads and Instagram. A lot more active on those. Um, and like, comment, subscribe. All that jazz, you know. Do what you do. Um, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye!